Yes. We pray, most gracious God, that you be with the Griffin family, with the Jew family, with all yes, those who suffer the Jesus. trauma of violence of the Lord, Jesus, the Lord to protect them. Yes. We pray, gracious God, for healing, yes. most yes. of all, for a just healing. In yes. Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, we hope you both thank you. stretch out this whole block so we don't hold hands and line up this whole block in a circle before we leave but I want to give some motivation and inspiration to you all through brother Tay Jumala and he has a song that he just but the drummers need to come on up here where the drummers here here you go here you go hotel I know that we all know that the spirits of our ancestors are watching us. Yeah. 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 The till is looking down to paradise. Oh, yeah, I'm Daniel Bell, for those who might remember Daniel Bell, Daniel Till is watching us. And all of our ancestors are watching us. community where we stand yeah. and let them know that Milwaukee is one city yeah. 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 we are all one and we yeah. have come here all as Milwaukee. you said most eloquently in love and in peace yeah. Yeah. our ancestors are watching us but there are some people yeah. somewhere mm -hmm. who believe mm -hmm. that the 13th amendment was never passed, never yeah. passed. Yeah. there are people somewhere who believe mm -hmm. that this is before the civil war you can do to somebody what you want to do and just walk away smiling. As a matter of fact, there are some people who still say that we are slaves. But you know something? You cannot be a slave unless you have fallen in love with that evil thing that controls you against your will. So I want to tear all those pages out of Sidewalk. We got the street block, it don't make a difference.
street blocked off anyway. I don't know, sidewalk right, street. We, we still have people who like to stay safe, but yeah, circle on the oh, side of oh, the block. Whole oh, head stretch out the first block. I know you do, sister. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, sister. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, let it, let it be on the street, yes. What's up, Lobby? How you doing, sister? I guess right. you're just looking for your buddy Greg today. Yeah. Too early for him, huh? I <laughs> another I'm just I'm trying to get the shot. I'm a teacher at a Catholic school in Milwaukee. I just have a Jewish classroom. I'm also the wife of a police officer, not a Milwaukee officer, but a white. We can't hardly hear you. And I just, I teach, I teach my students about, about justice. I teach my students about God. I teach my students about Martin Luther King. I teach my students about Ruby Bridges. And I'm, you know, there's been a lot of progress there, but I also teach my students that you know, we've got a long way to go here, and I, I pointed out the injustice of this case to my students this week. And I, I want them to know that we have to stand together, and that um, I appeal to the prosecutors of this case, and I, I call for complete justice. And if there is a hatred crime here, then let it be brought to justice, right. and let that be, you know, charged. And, and let's not be wimps about prosecuting this case, but let's stand together on this. Amen. That's right. Amen. I understand, you know, being the wife of a police officer, that people have, that officers have to trust each other. But these, these officers have crossed the line, and now they're obstructing yes. justice. Yes. 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 And I call for all of the people involved. The three have come forward, but there were more people involved, and I call for a complete disclosure of the truth. And you know that these men need to step forward and take responsibility for their actions. And, you know, when when the Frank Judah was beat up, he, he, they weren't just beating up the man, but they were beating up the city of Milwaukee. They were beating up the police department. They're beating up the black community, and there's a deep wound there. And in order for this case to heal and for Milwaukee to come together and be united, there has to be true justice Amen. and so I'd like the bonds that are broken to be restored again so that we can have a unified community Amen. and I pray for the you know those who were hurt and also the per perpetrators in this case God bless you hey and, and one thing I want everybody to know especially the media about myself and they just claim I'm a dividing type of person. Right, right, right. And I divide the community. Right. And I went to Bayview High School and I was the first black crime team in Bayview history. So how the hell can I be a divided for? And I had to give props to my uncle brother Clean right here. Without him, I wouldn't have been a chap at all. His brother helped the train. But we want to close with prayer and also all the neighbors on this block, we are on your block. We're not here to violate you. We ask if you'll join us also if you believe that we need justice in this community. So we ask that if you'll come down and hold hands with us. Right. Come on down. Let us all bow. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this gathering. 
Hallelujah. Gathering of justice. Not for one, but for all. And we thank you for all of those who shed blood, who've gone before us. Yes. And we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. That we've taken a stand. Yes. Hallelujah. We're not going to let the bloodshed yes. be in vain. Yes. We want to thank you for all of the leaders here today. Yes. We pray in the name of Jesus <coughs> that this would not just be a one-time affair, yes. but yes. God until yes. justice yes. reigns. Hallelujah. We pray in the name of Jesus that you would keep us walking our streets for they are our streets and we demand justice. We want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah again for Mr. McGee. Alderman McGee. Hallelujah. The one who they say divides. But we thank you that he put together. And God, we want to thank you, Lord. We want to thank you for every individual who's here today. And we pray in the name of Jesus that you look on Frank Jude. Look on, the Lord. Look on Mr. Griffin. Look on, yes. the Lord. Look on all of those, Master. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, who are there being quiet about. Yes, Lord. But we are ringing out today. Yes. And we are yes, thanking Lord. you that the bells will continue to ring yes. until yes. justice be done. Yes. And we want to say that we thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. We love you. Yes. And we give you all of the praise. Yes, In the name yes. of Jesus, we pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. 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 Hello, everybody. My name is Brother James Davis, and I've written a poem. It's called The Beating of Frank June Jr. Yes. On October 24, 2004, in a city called Milwaukee, two black men were invited by friends to attend a Southside party. <laughs> they were invited by two white friends. The ladies thought it was all right. They even checked to see if it was okay to bring their friends that night. Yeah. The people at the party told them, yes, they could bring them to that place. But when the four arrived, the party paused all the attention was on one race. Frank June Jr. and his friend could feel the racial tension. It was obvious to prove that both of them that their color should have been mentioned. They, they all decided to leave right away. They were not going to stick around. As they proceeded to leave in their vehicle, Frank June was pulled to the ground. Ten to fifteen off-duty cops started beating him like he was a slave. It was God Almighty that spared Frank June and kept him out of his grave. Three months go by before the media decided to let it be known. That was the trigger that set the community off on exactly what went wrong. The cop hosting the party said he was missing some items from his home. What makes him think the community believes Frank June was allowed to roam? The district, the district attorney said it is hard some cops won't cooperate. But when those cops obstructed justice, he should have jailed them on that day. Instead, they are at home on suspension being paid for their crimes. Because of a dumb and stupid state law, they continue to collect our dime. Yeah. So now it's our turn to speak. Yeah. No one wants a disruption. In a city where we have to live, we want justice, not corruption. Yeah. Now take this seriously, it's not a joke. Don't laugh us off and be rude. Right. Alderman Michael McGee Jr. is taking a stand against the beating of our brother Frank Jude. Yeah! yeah. Sign up. We have Sister Aisha here so that we can stay in contact as we move along because we're not going to just keep protesting. There's legal remedies also we're going to explore. So we have the community right here to come forward and give us your name and number we can contact with. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah.
Good afternoon, how officers. Are you, how are you? Are you a chief or something? No, I'm the captain. The captain. Hi. Can I ask you a question, officer? I mean, I don't know, on the camera. Do you think this is good for morale, or do you think that stuff like this, when it happens, that, you know, the rest of the good officers that um, work for the city um, have to bear the, I guess, the brunt? Yes. I think I'll answer it with, um, I think there's a lot of good officers doing a lot of good work. I do, too. Thank you. Thank you. I come Thank from a family you. of law enforcement, so I okay. had to get that in there. I understand. All right. Thank you. you All have right. a good day. You too. Thank you. It's kind of bad for morale. Well, I'm not permitted to make any comments about the incident whatsoever. Okay. So, well, thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Folks, take care.